initially, you know, mm. quite a number of people, when they looked at the ideals mm. set up by the uh, of the Nigeria Governors Forum, I mm. mean, they want them to uh, they want the states to grow. They want them to collaborate more. Absolutely. They want them to be competitive even. Yeah. Uh, you know, if we can re achieve what the regions achieved back in the days, maybe mm. they, want, they want the states to be able to do that. But in the light of the politics that was introduced mm -hmm. or that the Nigeria Governors Forum was later on known for, mm -hmm. uh, especially in the wake or the aftermath of 16 versus 19, mm -hmm. would you say, first of all, that the forum has been able to achieve the level of unity needed to be able to achieve some of the goals that it has set for itself. Oh yeah, I mean, uh, remember like I told you earlier, your your um these are not um choir guys. They are these are politicians. And and every time they come together, I mean, you probably would always have two things at the back of your mind. I mean, first of all, I mean, they, they, they want to get as much as possible for their states and they want to continue to remain relevant. I mean, it, it's um it's tough to I mean, uh, uh, tell, say if you have any governor out there that does not understand that, I mean, there's need to, to connect yourself with the people you serve on a daily basis. And I think that is very serious to, to the governors. So if the average Nigerian were to ask today, how much impact is the Nigeria Governors Forum having on my life? Or why should I even care about the Nigeria Governors Forum except that, you know, governors are perhaps taking funds that are due my state and paying their dues with it to the Nigeria Governors Forum. <laughs> yeah. You know, can they really say that the forum itself has had an impact on their lives? Oh, absolutely. I can In, in what that. areas? Now, um, I, I could mention specific initiatives, for instance. If you take polio eradication, the whole uh, um, uh, plan to get polio out, it's been anchored by the Governors Forum. And the mileage achieved by the federal government, I must tell you, would not have been possible but for the role of the uh, Nigerian Governors Forum. Um, the, the forum, too, has been able to connect with a number of federal government initiatives. If you look at the social um, investment program ongoing right now, the government is connected with it. Uh, you look at the, um, um, the ease of doing business, um, the governors have connected. I mean, there are a number of other things out there, I think. Uh, OGP, the uh, Open Government Partnership, I think the governors have done, I mean, have connected using the platform of the Governors Forum. I mean, each time they come together, it's much easier uh, to, to, to discuss some of this, these issues and share best practices. I mean, and, and I think, I mean, as you know, a number of the governors come from very backgrounds. You have some of them that are core politicians, some are medical doctors, accountants, and all that. I mean, not, I mean, there's no school where you learn how to be a governor, but of course, the, 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 the uh, basic uh, things you need to, to, to implement the kind of things you do in your state, you could actually always benchmark from some of your other colleagues. And I think that has helped a lot in, I mean, putting the country forward. Let's talk about the peer review mechanism. No, no, no. In addition to that, if you look at the recession, for instance, mm -hmm. I mean, a number of things have happened in the States over time, I think, that have contributed to us getting out of the recession. That is the feedback we get right now based on what our researchers are doing on the field. Okay. Yeah. Well, we we'll definitely want to know what some of those things are uh, because the impression that quite a number of people get about, mm -hmm. you know, the governor's forum, they can't really see any impact uh, that is having on the, uh, even the peer review <laughs> mechanism. Yeah. I, I, I logged onto your website, tried mm -hmm. to find out a bit of details, and there was a part where, you know, which should actually interest a lot of people, which mm -hmm. is IGR. It looks like that part is only reserved for members. It had a username and password. So even at a glance, citizens cannot see how states are doing comparatively to one another. No, I'm shocked. That, that's not the plan. I mean, we, we, that, that ought to be open to the public. I'll check that out when I get back to the office. Okay. Yeah, so so if you were to look at it, I yeah. mean, in terms of how states are doing, especially in the days of uh, states needing to do more for themselves, states mm -hmm. being encouraged to know that the days of oil free oil money mm. are almost over or mm. are going out of fashion. How would you say states are taking their internally generated revenue uh, sources? The records we have today show that um, over 40 percent of the states have shut up their uh, uh, IGRO by over 50 percent. That's, I mean, those, those records are out there. I'm shocked they are not, you can't get that in public. I mean, a number of the states today have better infrastructure for managing their debt profile. I mean, it, 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 you have um, an, uh, uh, a dedicated institution for handling that. There's a good uh, 
proper interface with the federal government. I mean, they, they have better records today on what exactly their debt profile is and the options available to them. A debt profile which is increasing, at least according to recent figures from the MBS. Yeah, but I do not think the increase should really bother us. What should bother us is the management. I mean, uh, 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 that, I mean, it's, 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 it's a concern, but I mean, how that is managed is what I think should, concern, should, should bother us. I mean, yeah, because debt is an intricate debt is an intricate part of um, running an economy, and 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 uh, um, what we advise is that um, people should be prudent. I mean, and be mindful of um, your revenue inflow, and and be efficient in how you manage your debt. I mean, uh, that's, uh, those those are some of the things we advise them to. Do. How seriously would you say that governors are taking the competition? I mean, are they really taking themselves seriously? Because what we get sometimes is that when we ask a state governor, why are you not doing as well as the state in this area? Mm -hmm. They first of all point to the fact that that state gets more than mm -hmm. they do. Mm -hmm. uh, they point to the fact that that state has more access to or can generate more than they can. Mm -hmm. You know, and they, they, they try and tend to, you know, tell you the disadvantages that they have compared with that state and mm -hmm. really point to the advantages that they have. Well, I, no, I do not even think that is the uh, position. I, I find my experience has been there's a lot of um, rivalry, um, a lot of willingness to learn from themselves. Um, and, and remember, uh, every time you talk to a governor, you get res uh, responses like that. It's not like telling you that it's not uh, um, taking into consideration the kind of things happening in other states and the need for him to improve. I mean, it, it, it's, um, there's no state right now, and I say this on my honor, that is not interested in enhancing the IGRO uh, um, uh, system. There's no, no, no state right now. There's no state that is not concerned about the management of the debt profile in the state. I mean, there's no state government right now that is not interested in capacity building. There's no interest in the civil service structure. There's no, I mean, I don't know of any state not interested in things like that. So I'll be shocked. I mean, if uh, I know, of course, I mean, it's um, easy to say with a moment um, state A gets more than uh, my state or state A, I, I mean, uh, they have more access. So I do not belong to the ruling party and all that. I mean, I, I, in, 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 in fact, I mean, that, that is not exactly what they're doing on, on the ground. When you look at the fact that states are, you know, some states are owing salaries, some, some states owe pen, pensioners, would you say that they're also competing in those areas and finding out how the states who don't owe, you know, are faring and, and managing? Yes. I mean, and we discuss that regularly at the forum level, and uh, we've equally been able to link up with a number of the other officials responsible for these uh, matters at the state level. And, and um, we have um, specific initiatives directed at that, and I think the response uh, um, uh, level from the states um, across the country, it's been very positive. Well, we'll have to take a break now. When we return, we will ask how the formation of regional groups impact the Nigeria Governors Forum. Please stay with us.